Good day, everybody. Welcome to On The Real. I'm your host, Pastor Adam McCain. And uh, I'm telling you, I am so excited today because one of my heroes in the faith, Mr. Nikki Cruz, is with us on the podcast. Miss Nikki, welcome, sir. Thank you so, so much. So great to have you. You're a legend. Uh, I'm a little older, so I may know about you. Some of you young guys may have never heard about Nikki Cruz. You should Google him right now. Stop your car. Pull over. Stop the treadmill, whatever you're on. If you don't know this name, this is one of our heroes in the faith. Radical salvation back in, what, the 60s or 70s you came uh, to Christ? Late late 50s. Late 50s. No, just tell them 60s or 70s. And most of these guys don't even know 50s ever existed. No, all late right, 50s, right, that's right. 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 Uh, in connection um, <coughs> uh, with... Um, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Who who did you who who was doing the evangelism that you came to Christ under? David um, Wilkerson. David Wilkerson. Thank you. Adam. What's the matter with you? I'm, it's, it's age. It's age it's is what it age. is. Yeah, it's hard to remember. Good research. Yeah, right. <laughs> Google. I need to Google it. And so, would you just take a moment? Just tell. I mean, you've got such a life story, so much ministry depth. So just just kind of jump us in who you are, your life story, what God's done in you and through you. Well, I I was born in Puerto Rico. And raised in New York City, and that was the place that I got mixed up. And but this is go more deeper than that. Mm. Uh, my father was very deeply involved in in of, uh, witchcraft. Mm. My father was a satanic priest. My mother was a witch. And I was born in the middle of a curse, mm. and. Uh, I never expected in my life that <coughs> that I'm gonna be going uh, that this is my life gonna turn this way, but it did. Uh, unfortunately, I got involved in in crimes and and I was rejected when I was a little boy. Uh, my mother really damaged me good, mm. and uh, when you tell your son. I curse the day that I brought you into this My world. My goodness, yeah. And uh, you react. I'm yeah. just a little boy. Yeah. And uh, uh, I don't want you. I don't need you. Wow. Get out of my life. The one person who's supposed to love you when yeah. no one else loves you. <coughs> wow. But the, my, my question was this. If we began to question God. Mm. My question was, if... I'm gonna be born in a curse, not only myself but my brother. Mm -hmm. I got a big family, seventeen brothers and one sister. <laughs> so we all all brothers and one sister. Seventeen wow. brothers and one sisters. So that's what your you own gang. That's your own gang. That's a football. I game. don't need to come to New York yeah. looking for a gang so yeah. you can leave mine <laughs> in, in Puerto Rico. But what happened is. You, you never know what you can do to a child. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, That can mold mm -hmm. your life or that can take you to to the dark side. Mm. And uh, uh, it damaged me. Mm. Uh, I, I did believe that I was hunted by demons and devils. Yeah. And uh, through all of that, I, I, I hate my mother. Mm. It was uh, a sickness it's, it, because hate is a sickness. It's, it's something that it eats you inside until yeah. you began to think less of yourself. You began to disrespect life as you disrespect yourself. And in that transition, uh, I left home. Mm. Uh, I tried to commit suicide when I was a little boy. And of, were uh, you like ten years old or so? What uh, it, nine. Nine. Wow. Nine, and I I remember that it was the most broken moments of my life uh, yeah. because I didn't know how to express. Uh, the only thing I screamed so loud, I hate you, I hate you, mm. and I swear I will never laugh again, and I will never cry again, and that was the last time I cried when I was oh. nine years old. So. So the only escape was to send me to New York as a teenager. and You had some family or something that had lived there? Yes, I got families. I got yeah. so your parents nine brothers living <laughs> in New go. York. So uh, 
what happened, you know, unfortunately, uh, I was living in the streets yeah. and uh, uh, my bed was the subway, the train that used to wow. uh, run 24 hours a day and nights. And, um, and I remember that I've, uh, it was cold when I got in, mm. when I came from Puerto Rico. It was in January. Oh, my goodness. I got a T-shirt yeah, yeah. and a khaki <laughs> pants, yeah. and, and that's that's all I had. Oh, yeah. And I didn't want to go with my brother, so I ran away. I just went through. To the wrong way and escape, mm. and that's what I just to sleep in the subway. Wow! And uh, then I got in trouble, yeah. And uh, I, I did something very ugly in Manhattan, so mm. I moved to Brooklyn, and that's when I met my f- new family, mm. the gang, mm. and I became. Very close, and they became very close to me. And and the thing is that you don't have no choice because uh, either you're not going to last that much, right? Because because it's going to be about the. You see, I died when I was nine years old. Let's be honest. Yeah. So in your mind, I died when I was n- nine years old. I was waiting to be buried. Yeah. When I was twenty, yeah. If I was a lucky baby. Yeah, you weren't really living for no tomorrow. You were living for right now. Yeah, yes, uh, tomorrow it wasn't there. Yeah, it was a long way to yeah. walk there. Yeah. So if, uh, when you're in the gangs, you you got a code of ethics mm-hmm. that you cannot violate. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I joined, and we became very close, and. Uh, of course, there were quite a few murders that took place. Mm. Some of my f- friends, uh, they got busted and spent one twenty years in, in prison, mm. and the other uh, five years. Mm. So, <coughs> so I, I, I really, really, really was confused. And the thing is that I, I had the worst nightmare. And I'm a teenager. Recurring over and over. Uh, recurring Same. all of this, the face of my mother, the mm. curse of my mother, and all of these things. And uh, and I wasn't afraid of dying. I was afraid of living. Mm. And wow. when you go in that, in that kind of way, that's that's very dangerous. And, and uh, when I began to go so deep in and out of jail. That's when a country preacher by the name of David Wilkerson came in into our turf, uh, we call territory. Yeah. And uh, uh, I was with my girlfriends, I was three blocks down and there's people running from every place. And I said, what's in the, what's going on what's in my neighborhood? On? Cause I was one, now one of the leader. Yeah. So, so I told my, my girl, Come on, let's see what's happening. And she didn't. She said, "No, oh, why don't we should go?" But in the gangs, you have signal. When you say, "When I say you come, you mm. come," and mm. when I say you go, you go. Okay. And you understand that language. If okay. you cross that thing, I'm gonna beat the heck of you. Yeah. So when I talk, when I make this signal, you come. She knew. So I, I grab it, run, and there was about over two hundred people. And I heard this this voice. Uh, God had the power to change your life. And, and, I, and I didn't know the guy because I didn't see him. I said, oh, shut, shut up. There's yeah. no such a thing of God. Huh? We are gods. Look wow. at this. We are the mama, we are the people, and we have the power. Mm. So give me a place so I can do a, a political speech. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So then what happened was that uh, that by curiosity, I want to see this guy. This guy, he, he thinks, what he think he is. So I pushed the people and there's the workers. Mm. And, you know, when you began to realize, I think people got it wrong in this world. God can use anybody. That's right. You cannot say, uh, well, this particular person... Yeah. David, 
Dave Wilkerson was a skinny, skinny guy. <laughs> and not only was he skinny, but uh, he was a hillbilly, a hill. Com- <laughs> came from the hills of Pennsylvania <laughs> to a big city, New York, a big <laughs> metropolitan city. And, and uh, uh, look at him. And it's a joke. And then he have that kind of uh, suit. Yeah. It was black suit, white shirt, and a little tiny, tiny, t- t- tiny tie. And it looked like that he came to a funeral. <laughs> it's not going to be me. But it, it's going to be him. He's, gonna, he's coming to get yeah. killed. And then uh, th- that's it's, it's so hard to understand mm. because you be, began to look at the physical. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, I am not afraid of the dog who barks so loud. Mm-hmm. The, wa- the one that he don't it's quiet. bark, yeah. squire, that he can beat you. So here is his David. It seems that he came from the twilight zone. <laughs> he uh, got fit. those thick, thick glasses, <laughs> very thick glasses. That's you try hilarious. to psychoanalyze him, you know, because yeah. you look at the eyes, and from there you can tell with yeah. who you're dealing That's with. Right. And uh, I, see, I tried to look, and his eye was going different directions, you know, <laughs> so you get confused. <laughs> you, and. Uh, <laughs> Then the haircut, it was like a butcher, the guy who gave workers on the haircut. That's hilarious. That is the image. The, the image, and that is the human being yeah. that is walking into our turf, bringing something that I wasn't aware. Yeah. Uh, Didn't have your permission and, to be uh, there. Uh, yes, but he got the cuts, and he was there. And then um, I, pu- I pushed the people, and I got. I got close to him and I spit at him. Really? I want to kill him. Yeah. You know, and uh, I push him and I told him, if you say any word, another word, you're a dead man. Mm. And there's some guy from my gang and uh, he got nervous and he was against the wall and then out of the blue sky, he told me, I came over here to, g- to give you a message from heaven. Mm. Nikki, Jesus love you. Uh, back off. And I said, what? Then he didn't say nothing. And out of the blue sky, boldness came over this skinny preacher. <laughs> boldness, I'm telling you. Mm. And he started screaming at me so loud. And and when he was screaming at me, he 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 challenged me. He he began to say, "Lao, kill me. Go ahead. Is that gonna make you feel good in front of these people? Go ahead and kill me. Look at this, a country preacher. <laughs> wow, killed me. Wow. And I and I went like this. Uh, uh, and then he spoke at me. He opened his lung. Mm. Uh, he spoke so loud. You can kill me and cut me in thousand pieces. Uh, you can throw them right there on the street. But remember, Nikki, every little piece will cry out that Jesus loves you. you. I tell you, a lot of people think, well, why did he say that? Well, it, it was it damaged me good mm. mentally, yeah. Because it was everything. Well, Jesus love you. Jesus love you. Jesus love you. Jesus love you. You get cut in a thousand pieces, and every little piece gonna cry now to you. I have a nightmare. If I have a nightmare now, I have worse nightmare because now it's something different. It's Jesus. Ooh. It's Jesus. It's Jesus and Jesus. And he was on the subway, Jesus, and the boss, Jesus, stealing, mugging, chilling, lying. All of these things, is, uh, fighting. It, it, it was wow. two weeks of, that I was tormented by something good. Yeah. You know, sometimes, Spirit of the Lord sometimes, is sometimes you can come and say you're yeah. tormented by evil. But this was something that is, I wow. cannot get it out wow. of my mind. I could not sleep. So I went to hear the preacher. 
and I took a uh, 75 guy for protection just to listen wow. to a skinny preacher. And there was 2,000 people there. And You're kidding me. 12 different gangs. Wilkerson was naive. He, he should not bring yeah. uh, enemies to wow. Dracula going to drink a lot of water. <laughs> I mean, a lot of, lot of blood. Yeah. So that was the day that I heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. I, and be honest to you, what it really touched me. It was uh, when he talked about the crucifixions of Jesus. Mm. Because that was the most violent sc- yeah, uh, right. death that you can imagine. Yeah. Because I've been in court in front of that judge, and he got the power. Mm-hmm. But what th- what happened to G- to Jesus Christ? I wasn't that stupid to understand that brutal. Yeah, the way that he described it. Mm-hmm. I mean, he described that so well that almost you there, and that you. I began to get angry. Mm. Because I was for the minority. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, uh, I was against the bully. Yep. If I've heard somebody beating somebody there that the mm-hmm. guy didn't know how to fight, here I pushed the guy and I started fighting with the, yeah. with the guy. And, and and here it was a bunch of bullies that they was crucifying Jesus Christ. And, and that really was the thing that I began to say. Wow. Man. He's good. Yeah. I'm bad. Mm. I deserve the electric chair. This guy deserved life. This is my own conclusion. Yeah, revelation in that oh, moment. Oh, yeah, my own conclusions. And then he he challenged me. He, he told me he wanted to pray for me. I said, no. And then Israel, my closest friend, he stood up and said, hey, hey, preacher, pray for me. I said, Israel. Don't make a fool of yourself in front of uh, these people. There's two thousand people there. I, 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 are you gonna go? He said yes, but I want you to come with me. Israel told me, mm. and, and I told Israel, I'm not going with you. Go ahead. If that's what you want to go, CC, go. He said no. I want you to come with me. And I said Israel. This is the way everything works. Israel, are you afraid to go by yourself? If you're afraid to go by yourself, I go with you. <laughs> and I walk in, in the trap. <laughs> I walk in into something I never expected. And then the power of the Holy Spirit was so strong. The Christian began to pray because it was dangerous. Mm. Somebody's gonna, gonna get killed that night. Mm. And the people, the Christian, were praying. Wilkerson was crying. I went. I fought with everything in, in my mind and body. No, no, no. And then uh, the guys and the girls began to hug one another, and they were moaning and groaning. Something that I that you can feel the pain. You can gang hear. members are are repenting. Yeah, you can hear the pain and. Uh, wow. uh, I was surrounded by pain. And there, uh, Israel was beside me, and I, and I, and I hit him on his chest. He turned his, when he looked at me, he was drowning in tears. Wow. And I say, uh, did you believe in that thing? He said, yes, Nikki. Mm-hmm. Then, you know, I start kicking the floor with my shoes to distract myself, mm. to distract the image of Israel and the voices that I was listening of guys and girls crying so hard, so loud and so hard. And then silent tears began to come out from my eyes. A memory began to hit me so strong. Wow. And the memory of childhood. Mm. And I want to tell you something. I don't know how you're going to think about it. But it's a mystery. I'm a mystery. Mm. Because why God put me in the wounds of a witch to be cursed? My God. Why? Mm. Why to be hurt, to be rejected, to be unwanted, Mm. to live a lonely life? Because loneliness is one of the most... 
terrible feeling that you can have and being alone and all of this. Yeah. Why did God put me in the wounds of a witch? <laughs> Why I came into the into the world of the living and the first thing that a child or baby feel is wow, it's cold here. Yeah, rejection. Because you are so protected by your mother mm. and your mother wounds and then here is cold. Yeah. And that's when I confronted a cold, calculated word that either mm. you make it or you die. Mm. And the reason why God put me into this world, mm. guess what? Mm. He took Mr. Nobody. He <laughs> took Mr. Rejected. He took the, a, a kid that, that it was dedicated to the devil. Mm. And here, nobody thought about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Nobody thought about right. the blood of Christ. Nobody uh, thought about forgiveness, mm. repentance, and all of that. And here, God's Spirit came upon my life. My God. And I really, really confess Him mm. because I say, I don't know how to tell you. I don't know yeah. who you are. This man say that you love me. And I, you know something, Jesus Christ? I don't know who you are. I don't love you. Mm. And then it just happened, and I start solving, solving until I say, sorry is not enough. Forgive me. Wow. Forgive me, please. I mm. began begging for forgiveness. And that was the day that Jesus changed my life. Oh, my God. And uh, it wasn't that easy. Four days later, I almost got killed. A guy came with a knife from the enemy and, and sent me to the hospital for two days. But it's all right. I mm. forgive him. Did you really? Yes, I did. So you had a true transformation. It wasn't just a little play game at the altar to say I'm sorry. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't in the condition to to play game with nobody. <laughs> yeah, I quit <laughs> myself, and. Uh, it was for real, and I didn't know. Wilkerson told me when you go to your place, with, which it was a little room, you're gonna, your mind going to go wired. You're going to mm. be attacked. You're going to think that what happened here, it, it was uh, a illusion, yeah, yeah. a fix of your imagination. Yeah. And uh, uh, then uh, he, he was right. When <laughs> yeah, I came to my room right. and he went to hang out with nobody, yeah. it went straight to my room, wow. clean up the room with all the things that yeah, I have there. Paraphernalia. And then, yeah. and then, uh, then I went to bed and everything, you make a fool of yourself. Yeah. Look what you I'm did. You, you were yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. You, you know, tomorrow when you, the guy sees you, they're going to start laughing. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, yeah, I shoot. If they began to make fun of me, I start shooting every one of them. <laughs> you know. <laughs> And you get all this. Yeah. And he told me, but you pray. But how in the world? I didn't know how to pray. Right. So I was searching for words. So I got tired and I said, good night, Jesus. And I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I fell asleep. Uh, <laughs> that was from the Lord. That was God put me to sleep. Yeah, it was. Because uh, for peace. years I had not slept well. Mm, really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. And from there, <coughs> I mean, you know, that ended up into a book, Run Baby Run. I think you guys have done movies. You have preached all over the world. God took you mm -hmm. and literally made you, gave you a voice to the nations. You've been in and you've preached in more prisons than anybody else I probably know. You and lots of prisons and all the prisons here in the United States. But I'll tell you one thing. I, I have written 17 books and um, Run Baby Run, of course, was number one. Sold over 12 million mm. uh, copy and the cross and Swiss blade that was the movie that's right when Eric Estrada played my part for those who you told him you're better looking than he was they didn't get as good of a good looking actor for you but when I'm glad I just stray okay <laughs> 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 no it just uh, it just a matter of uh, that I've uh, I said the facts that I had to leave New York because mm. if not, I'm going to get killed. So mm. I, 
Dave Wilkerson sent me to California to Bible school. Yeah, talk about that a little bit because what a transition, right? You've been a guy living on the streets. You've been a guy in gangs. Mm -hmm. You get radically saved, have this radical encounter with the Lord, love Jesus with everything you got. You know, we're going to send you to California to a Bible school with a bunch of people who've been in church their whole life and have all these preconceived ideas on what Christianity is supposed to look like. How was that for you? Well, uh, it was one month before school started. Okay. So it was a place that it was like a countryside. I used to be, to, I used to go to bed with a lot of noise, yeah. screaming yeah. and all of this, and and the police yeah. and the cars and the fires, and it's nothing but noise. When I went over there, it was so quiet that I could <laughs> not sleep. I could not, honestly, to God, I could not sleep. It, I was, uh, it took me about a month and a half to oh, really so. yeah. adjust myself into that situation. Yeah. And uh, going to Bible school, it wasn't easy. I didn't know nothing about nothing about the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> when one of the teachers say, I want you to give me all the trip to Paul, <laughs> I didn't know who Paul was. <laughs> Paul. I'm serious. God is my witness. I didn't know who Paul I thought this guy, who is this guy, Paul? I don't want to know where he went. To one of the students, who is this guy, Paul? Paul? <laughs> and uh, and say, yeah, he used to go and persecute the Christian and kill the yeah. Christian. I say, I want to man, I want to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> this is the things that you, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah, joking. No. This is the thing. That's where you're at. Who he thinks he is? I blow his brains out. <laughs> and and to began to know that he was. That he was one of the greatest of yeah, the greatest yeah. missionaries of all time. You could really identify oh with him. Oh, my Lord. And then uh, the temptations that uh, I feel out of place. Yeah, and right. About four months, I want to split. I want to leave the school. Yeah. It wasn't for me. And, and uh, I went to the professor, one of the professors, and I said, look, I, I cannot handle it. Mm. This is not my my style, I want to leave. So Brother Camarillo, to, uh, so out of the blue sky, stood up out of his desk and he started speaking in tongues. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> That's how he responded. Uh, yeah. He said, and, hey, and then here I'm, I, I told him I'm going to leave. And then he began to prophesy. Of, Thou said the Lord that God gonna put His Spirit upon your life, and he, you gonna be ambassador all over the world to the young wow. people, to the youth. And I say, I came over here to tell him that I'm quitting. I'm spreading. <laughs> I'm quitting, and it's gonna come with this. Wow! And the less I knew, you know, he was right. Yeah. Because in my lifetime, and I know bragging, it is the truth. I have yeah. spoke to more than 50 million people with mm-hmm. my voice. Yeah. Not with the books or magazines. Not or movies, social media. And not social media. In a just, meeting. Yes. Yep. And, uh, wow. and I tell you, it's, 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 it's when you're in front of 100,000 people and uh, you feel you, you look like a major. Yeah. Right, a spec. Just your voice is the one who carry on to the yeah. hearts of the people. So uh, uh, the time of discouragement, mm. of yes, depression, uh, yeah. in the mix of revival. Yeah. Uh, you can go on about all these, these, these situations. And I, I had to deal with projects, uh, people. Yep. You know. Absolutely. I'll be honest to you. Mm. I was used Mm. People use me because my name of reputation, yep. but I don't mean that they love me, that guy. Nope. I stand in that stage and I look at this guy. Yep. Use you to build their church, uh, yeah, to build their ministry. Use me, yep. and um, many times I spoke in, 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 in Coliseum that they had to, I had to speak twice mm. because there were people outside. There's so many people, yeah. So many people. So through all of that, but I'll, I'll be honest to you, uh, I thank God for my wife, Gloria. Mm. I never, I never, you know, when you're in the street, uh, you you deal with a girl like chicks, mm-hmm. you know, and, yeah. and uh, you don't have no feeling. You, you use That's them. right. And I never knew how to express myself to a Christian girl. And 
and Gloria was the person mm. that I've got put in my life. And she feel the same thing about evangelism because I believe in evangelism with all my heart. Mm. And uh, we married, we have been married for 62 years. We just turned right. 62 years. Wow. People today, they don't know if you're going to just say, I do one tomorrow, forget it. You know, but no, mm. God is good. That's my right. my son in law, Patrick, here, he has been, been married for 33 years. Wow. And wow. And Brother Nikki, and uh, so you've been in ministry. How long would you say you've been in ministry? Is this 50, 60 years? Are you trying to, excuse me, are you trying to make me feel old? No, just the opposite. I this want the mature, is to f- about for the you maturity. To, to tell the people. <laughs> No, well, well, you're the one that said in the <coughs> 50s. I was trying to give you 70s. No, but you began to use mathematics, and then that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, t- I, I tell you, I tell you honestly, I uh, uh, 62 years in um, wow in ministry, and it seems like still feel young. Yeah, my you are young. My voice is still strong. Although yeah. I started with my voice, I, I say I hope I don't finish with my voice cracking up yeah, yeah, over yeah. here. Yeah, you sound great. But but that's my strength. Uh, Patrick Davis is the one uh, have been with me, and is the one who uh, will take over. Yeah. And I pray that he he will feel this this mm. that spirit that I feel because yeah. my daughter Alicia and Patrick that do have a tremendous uh, heart for evangelism heart for evangelism. Yeah. yeah. Here's what I want to ask you: In you've been in ministry a very long time. What advice would you give? There are folks listening. They want to minister. They want to evangelize. 62 years. We know a lot of people, you and I, that mm-hmm. aren't in ministry anymore. They've quit on God. They've quit on their wife, their husband. They've quit on um, mm-hmm. ministering to people. What's some advice that you would give? What are some of the things that you've learned? I mean, you've, you've, you're a hero because cause you, and again, I, don't, I know you don't want that, that, you know, that accolade, but, but you are, the Bible talks about the heroes in the faith and Hebrews chapter 11, 10. And, um, I just think, you know, it'd be good for you to give us some advice on how do you stay faithful in ministry? How do you stay faithful to the Lord? It's a love affair. It's a love affair with your heart and Absolutely. the heart of God. So well. And, uh, uh, I love him. Yeah. I love him with everything of myself. I, I with all my weakness and all of that, that, is to me is my destiny i i i have one thing in in, in my heart mm. and that to see him to mm. see christ yeah and kiss him yeah because he kissed my pain he kissed my heart mm. he healed me he gave me new mind yeah. i can stay in the pulpit and uh, sometimes a lot of people say uh, you don't have to say too much just make the altar call. Yeah. People the love of God the, comes I'm out serious. Of yeah. They just come. and It is the love affair that you have with, you, with your Lord, with mm. your Master, yeah. with your Savior. And uh, uh, through all of that, you go through everything that you can imagine. Yeah. You see, I, I'm going to confess one thing. This is the first time I'm going to say th- this on the air. Mm. When I went to work for Teen Challenge, Wilkerson suddenly had nobody, so he asked me when I finished Bible school to go and to help him. I reject him. Mm. I don't want to go to New York. Yeah. And in that time, I finished three years in Bible school, and then uh, I, I I fall in love with Gloria yeah. and the same. She fell in love with me, and then I said, yes, I want to go to New York to help Dave. And uh, uh, it was an empty ghost house, 416 Clinton Avenue. There was nothing there. And only Gloria and I, Dave, live in Staten Island. And <clears throat> here I'm 23 years old. I'm a, the head of Teen uh, Challenge. Uh, yes, and... And my goodness, and 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 then some way, somehow, this heart of for the people, the, the love for the people, mm. 
it, it is something that it was burning in my my wife and in my life. So we went straight to the streets, straight to the gangs. Then, then everything changed, and it became a place where drug addicts used to come from every mm. every place. Yeah. And you know what happened? That place became a Holy Ghost hospital. <laughs> Come on. When the guys used to walk in, you didn't have to preach to them. The presence, the glory wow. of the Lord was so tangible. You can feel him. That they just open, they, they used to open the door, the drug addicts and killers open the door and they used to fall Is on the floor right? without anybody talking to them. My goodness. You know, Jesus, that this is the truth. Yeah. They just fall on the floor, and and it, it, it took me about five minutes to, to pray <laughs> with them because they already said, asking, Jesus, forgive me, please, oh, and all okay. of this. So from there, that's that's when I began to experience, you know, you deal with killers. Yeah, yeah. You deal with killers, yeah. and I'm here 23 years, so dealing yeah. with a guy that's, that he's 30 or he's a killer. Yeah. And, and you I, have a wife that you got to protect. I feel, no, I just, I used to feel like a, like a, like a chihuahua barking <laughs> to a, to a German shepherd, you know, and they respect me. That was authority. Right. He was an authority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when you know the same authority is here in this room. The same authority is on the stage. Mm. You see, this is something that this is something that I belong to God and That's God right. belong to me and we're together. Yeah. So I walk and in his authority. And Islam yeah. is here and, and he gave me the heart, the looks. Yeah. Okay, I don't look I don't look old. I want all of you to in this one, two, three, five people, including my son in law and you. I'm still have my voice. Yeah. I still look young. I don't yeah, know you why. Yeah, you do. You look great. I'm serious. <laughs> I so can still good. jitterbug on the stage. No way. Oh, yes. Yeah. For oh you guys yes. that don't know what jitterbug is, Google yeah. that. <laughs> and, 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 and it is a matter how you feel. If you feel like all, be all. But I, do, I have a view spirit. Yeah. I, I don't have no conflict with myself. Mm. You see? Yeah. That's a deep statement. I don't have any conflict with myself. Yes, exactly. You, you don't have any unrepented sin that you've got to that you're hiding. No. And I think that's to your point when I asked you, you know, the longevity of ministry, the longe and your response was a love affair. I'm in love with Jesus. And I was reminded as you were saying that the scripture says to who's been forgiven much, they loveth much. Yes. And I feel like, you know, probably we're dealing a lot of times when I see these ministers are, you know, dishonoring the name of the Lord, falling into sin, whatever they're doing. I, I, it is that. Somehow along the way, they fell out of love with Jesus, and they begin to forget that we're all just wicked sinners saved by grace. That's correct. That's what we are. That's what we Mercy are has been extended to us. Uh, you know, there's a time uh, that I can speak in one of my two of uh, Paraguay, Paraguay, yeah. uh, Uruguay, and Argentina, Okay. I could not go in the street because they, they show the cross on Swiss Bay and the people used to stop. I could not get you out of walk. my room. Yeah, you're so famous uh, there. Yeah. Yeah. Then then uh, I, I remember that uh, you stay in the, in the stadium of 48,000 people. Yeah. And people. Which and is the biggest ambulance, stadium they have. Ambulance all over. Uh, the witches were put in, uh, uh, went around the stadium and then put... Uh, uh, blood of animal all over. Really? They began to pray to the devil or whatever it is. They're in Paraguay was a waste time. Of time. Wow. And, uh, and I remember that that there was about nine ambulances and ready to in case any situation. Mm -hmm. Of course, there was a manifestation so sure. evil, but I was with about 46 guys from the United States, Christian, that we went. And I look up, and there was a cloud, a dark cloud, right there, set in, in, in on the stage. And I told the, I, I, I turned around, and I spoke in English, and I said, do you see what I see? He said, yeah, get down and pray. Pow, destroy. 
through the power of prayer, wow. not because of me, yeah. the people around me, yeah. we knew. Yeah, that's a demonic that was the presence. Yes, yeah. Yeah. It was power. diabolic. And I have 9,000 people come forward <laughs> to give the heart to Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah, that's cool. And the same thing happened in Uruguay. Mm. The same thing happened in Argentina. Mm. Mm. You know, I wa- there's one thing I want to m- make clear in my lifetime. That I was walking through the pages of the book of Acts. Yeah, come on. God was doing miracles. It, 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 it was like I was pushing to doing that without me wanting to be there. It was there. I was walking through the pages of the book of Acts, signs and wonders, miracles, yeah. healing, yeah. salvation. It is there. Oh my God, we're missing that. Yeah. We're missing evangelism. Yeah. The people are too comfortable, you know? That's uh, the word. So I have this big statement I live by that comfort is the enemy of the supernatural. Mm-hmm. And we have literally fashioned ourselves as Christians in this modern era to find comfort. We're chasing comfort. We want comfortable seats in church. We want comfortable, we want our kids to have a comfortable little kids' ministry. And it's the enemy of the supernatural. Supernatural happens in the discomfort. Yes, of course. I mean, everything you just described, it, it wasn't nothing comfortable about being in Paraguay with witch doctors and, and Satan worshipers throwing blood all over the you know the arena that you're speaking yes. in. Yeah. And in wow. Argentina, Argentina, I was with, I don't, he went with Jesus, you know, Je- Jeff and Hall. Mm-hmm, absolutely. So he was the one who went Organized with Organized it, okay. Uh, Jeff... Uh, we finished, <laughs> and he got tremendous voice that mm. they ha- they have uh, the sound system for for twenty five thousand people. When they play, you su- you supposed to have it for uh, forty five to fifty thousand people. So Jeff blow the whole place with his <laughs> voice. <laughs> it went pow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we went when we went to Argent- Argentina. We was going through the crowd, and this kid came in and grabbed J- uh, Jeff' hand and he spit at him. Wow. He spit at his hand, and Jeff went mm. like this. He said, "It's cooler, cooler this. Yeah, yeah. That is diabolic. Mm-hmm. Don't let the thing yeah. bother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so he went over there, and I went over there, and. Here is the power of the Holy Ghost yeah, moving on. So, so wow. you you cannot be on the mind, underestimate. You cannot allow yourself uh, to have all this complex. No, I cannot do it. Yes, you can yeah. do it. Yeah. You can do it through the power of the Holy Spirit in yeah, your yeah. life. It's a relationship that that is there mm. and and it, that you develop. And mm. and and I, and I tell you, it's it's, it's uh, and I've been in every place that you can imagine from. From the people who like me a lot is when I go to France, uh, they had the biggest crowd you e- they ever have. Uh, just Billy Graham, that the, yeah. the biggest crowd, and in Paris, and uh, and the gypsies they follow oh. me all over in all over in France, and sometimes they they come in in caravan and they stay for two days, and really? sometimes they t- they stay in line for. Hours to get in, really. And of, uh, the gypsies, the gypsies, and all kinds of people, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. French and professional people, all kinds of I people, entertainer people, and it is fantastic when you see the glory of the Lord just coming down and give witness that Jesus Christ is the Savior, that is Lord of Lord. Yeah, and it, it is the most beautiful. The greatest example to me was David. King David have a tremendous love affair yeah. with God. Yeah. He 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 really committed a mistake. It was a bloody type of guy. Yeah. Worse. Yeah. I'm nothing compared. Yeah. You didn't do nothing <laughs> like no, he did. Nothing. <laughs> but <laughs> his love yep. for his creators, yeah. his his God, it was fantastic. Yeah. If we had that kind of love, that kind of passion. Come yeah. on, let's chop the head of the enemy. Yeah. Yeah, it's too. St- the the giant's gonna be small in front of your yeah. eyes. And then when he sinned, what was it? Psalms fifty three. Lord created me a clean heart. Oh my goodness! Renew- I mean, the, he passionately repented. Yes, he did. He he knew that he committed a mistake. 
he knew no mistake a big sin yeah yeah but the, but to your the, point the love affair the love affair it was something that he just to tell him this is me this is the way i feel mm. this is what i did and you're the only one who had the power yeah, you're the only one who even understands to me. help me please please i ask okay. you one favor mm. for, oh god don't take the, the holy, holy spirit, spirit from away from me and that is what I claim in this place Amen. right now. I could not make it without the power of the Holy mm-hmm. Ghost. I can. The Holy Spirit, it is the one who leads you into that path. Yeah. And that's the way I feel. Yeah, we, re- we need to repent because we boxed the Holy Spirit up, threw him in a back room and said, when we need you, we'll pull on you. Yes. And that's now, by the, the way, how long in go- this interview? What's that? How long? <laughs> How long is this interview? Oh, we're, we're ready to <laughs> bring it to a close. You ready to pray? No, <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Go ahead and ask me every question. Now you turn me on. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> you about to go off. <laughs> yes. No, but that is that is the place that I think the Lord's ready to bring us. And that is a, back to a love affair with him. We let the spirit of the living God move us into the supernatural. We need, we desperate need. Yeah. A baptism of evangelism. Mm. We are sleeping. Yeah, we are sleeping giant. That's right. Uh, some way, somehow, mm. uh, people yeah. dying in, in our arms. Our mm. teenagers. Yeah, uh, the children. Yeah, uh, the divorce of one Christian is one of it's unbelievable. Uh, we almost competing with the world about sixty, yeah. about fifty-two percent yeah. or more. Yeah. The, the, you know, started for better and then not for, but not not for good. Mm-hmm. You see, and, and 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 people are bound. Marriage marriages are bound. Witchcraft is alive. It is, and we had to fight this thing. This thing about having the same service. You know, the biggest problem is the biggest problem is that the, that the non Christian, which is we call the sinners, mm-hmm. then go to the service. And they can predict what's going to happen. They can predict these people seeing the same sun over yep. and over and yep. over and over yeah. again and, and over. Mm-hmm. The preacher spending more time collecting the mo- uh, the offering than to preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Right. And when you begin to realize, they psychoanalyze us. That's right. And the and the thing is. Uh, that some way we need to go back yeah. to that personal level. Mm. And I think, don't make it funny. Don't make it like, like a thing, like a pirate attack. Right. Say with a, your heart, mm. love that person. Let that person feel the yeah. heartbeat of your heart. Yeah. Let them know that you care. Yeah. Uh, I got people converted. Uh, the captain in... in uh, Thirty-two thousand feet on the airplane. Yeah, the airplane. He came. He <laughs> found out that I was in the airplane, and then he want to come and, and, and meet me, and then sit down and and he start talking. He said, "You know, my wife had postal of you all over, and some of the books that you have written, and and, and she prayed for you, and all of that." And then I, I look the Bruce Carter. I said, well, "What about you? I'm a doctorist." <laughs> he told me. I'm a torturous. You are? And then then I give five minutes of my testimony. That guy started crying Come and on. crying and crying. And he grabbed he grabbed my hands and put it in his front hand. No, he did not. He did. And then he stood there, he wanted to talk. I said, hey, will you please go back? And please fly uh, the plane. <laughs> yes, I, w- I wanted, I, I supposed to preach in in, uh, in the, the Hollywood Palladium in, in Los Angeles. I said, go back. Please. And then he sent the co-pilot. <laughs> and he got, co- he, uh, he, so powerful. he gave his heart to Jesus. The fly attendant that was taken care, that's so she powerful. sit down. So you can never tell that's how right. the, that's from right. where the wind is blowing. That's you right. know, and that is the power of the Holy Spirit that come. That's right. And I didn't ask him to come and sit down. Mm-hmm. You see? Yeah. And that's what so he good. did, he went back to his wife. He write a note. Uh, I'm back. And his wife was the most happy, beautiful. She talked to a picture, beautiful lady. Uh, uh, and this has happened 32,000 
my God. He's on, on the sky. Yeah. Yeah. Well. It was more close than, than you. I mean, right now we're here on Earth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gee. And Nikki today has really um, not just inspired me, but just spoken into those deep places in my heart. Thank you. And I can't thank you enough. Could we take this closing moments and would you pray into for all our listeners, all those tuning in with us, would you pray two things? Here's what I'm asking of you. Would you invest this? And we fall back in love. I'm talking about a love affair with Jesus. And that number two, that we would um we would come back into right order with the power of the Holy Spirit so that we can evangelize our world. Could we do that? Would you pray into that? Oh, of course, Jesus. Heavenly Father, in this moment, we are aware of your holy presence in this moment. This microphone is that just uh, taking our words in different directions to many hearts and many minds. But the greatest thing in this life is we cannot go through without feeling that tremendous love that kiss of forgiveness yeah. that you have given us yeah. time after time, God, make us more close to you. Mm. Let us feel your heartbeat. That we can feel that in this moment, we're surrounded by all kinds of evil, but mm. the power of your love and yeah. the power yeah, of your yeah. Holy Spirit is in us Jesus. to conquer and to destroy yeah. every stronghold. Father, I do pray that we fall in love with yeah, you. Please. We need a baptism of love yeah. in this nation. All over the world, Jesus. Christians are falling asleep. Mm, wake us. Oh, God, we need a resurrection. Mm. We need to win this world for Jesus. We cannot be ashamed of the gospel. We should be ashamed of ourselves when we just stay still and we do nothing for the gospel. Give us the power of evangelism that we can communicate and tell the people the greatness of your kingdom and the power of your love and the power of forgiveness. God, Holy Spirit, move right now. And those people that are listening, let them be shaken by the power of yeah. above all power is right. the Holy Ghost, the Holy, yes. Spirit. Come on, Holy Spirit. We love you, Jesus. And thank you for keeping our life and our lips in fire so we can mm. just <laughs> tell about Jesus. Yeah. The whole thing is Tell people about you, Jesus. Bless this conversation, this program, and God that it go and reach, and people will be moved to do something, something extraordinary, something different, because we are tired of doing the same thing over and over. We want to see Oh, God, a movement upon our family, our churches, yeah, and yeah, every yeah, places, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and in the yeah. streets. And, and, and God, I pray for all those parents that are hurting because their children are in drugs. Yeah. And, oh, Father, I pray that in this moment you break the stronghold and let it be peace in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wow. Well, you heard it here. Nikki Cruz, Googling. Find out where he's speaking at next. Check out some of his books. You can also find him on his website. So check that out. Google it. Nikki Cruz, thank you so much for being with us. What a great time thank here you. on On the Real.